are one minute away, folks. Yes, we are. And then the show will start. So get in your last minute TPs so we can fill up this sim and maybe even crash it. Ooh. Biggie and Jasper. Nose. Ask people to have mic silence. I know that sometimes SL kind of goofs up with your mic and stuff like that. So please toggle your mic to make sure that it is off so that you can hear the commentators and the wrestlers when they come out to talk and nobody gets confused. Welcome to APW Ignition. And I got to look at your commentator for today. I'll have my other comment co-commentator coming up quite shortly. But welcome to the show, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy it. going to run down the rules just quickly for everybody that just joined us. We need you guys to take off any heavily scripted items, heavily primed items, anything that may cause lag, any face lights or anything like that. Also, we ask you to toggle your mic just in case it is on so that nobody gets confused about hearing me twice and also confused about hearing other people. And I should be the only one that's on commentator as well as my co-commentator and the wrestlers. And we have the beautiful Alex coming out. She is our ref for this evening. We are hosted by the Divine Terror Motorcycle Club. Thank you for having us here today. That we can hold our show.
Oh, and here he comes, the irresistible one, Kurt Bombastic, to say a few words. Oh, well, we can always hope for a few words and not quite a few words. get this mic working here. Now we got th that all started and uh, my music out and done with. First off, welcome everybody to APW. What, no response? No response? Well, of course there's no response. There's that Jay Alexander, whoever his name is, uh, is out there. There's only one problem with having this special show. There we go. There's only, see, we're going to have a great show for you people, but there's only one problem we have this special show here today. The champion is not booked. I mean, after all, I am the Metaverse champion. You see this here, Jay Alexander? This is what a real championship looks like, unlike what those cheap Walmart knockoff plastic toys you wear in that two-bit fed that you wrestle in. The fact is, I am the APW Metaverse Champion. And as Metaverse Champion, I have, a cont I have somebody that's going to be contending for my championship. Scott Hex, you own, cur you currently own the APW. Metaverse title shot, something that you won in that briefcase. And you think, you're going around thinking that you're going to, you're guaranteed a championship win. Well, son, that you're far from uh, correct on that one. You see, the problem is, you've never defeated me. No Hex has ever defeated Kurt Bombastic. The odds are against me, and that's fine, because... I always rise to the top. I like it when the odds are against me. I, that's when I excel. So Scott Hex, you, as with that contract, any time, any day, it's still going to be the same old result. Me coming out on top. But since you didn't decided you're not, you didn't want the best wrestler ever, the man who innovated Second Life Wrestling and made it cool and popular, unlike that wannabe curtain jerker who wrestles for VAW out there in the crowd. Since you didn't book him for a match, one of the, the only reason why APW is relevant, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I'm on this card. Gotta? I see that you got the, an empty seat at ringside. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do, Kurt. I think I'll be joining you on commentary. <laughs> Told you you guys are in trouble. And it was a few words. So, there. Yo, what's up, fur bird? What's up, Leah? What's going on? You ask everybody to please not be on mic for this event, and that the only people that should be on mic is either us that are on commentary or our wrestlers. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, we'll just get ourselves settled. Hey, Gata, how's it going? Have some candy. <laughs> ah, thank you. Alright. So I'll just, I'm just waiting to get the... Get the paperwork, which uh, was just sent to me, and... How about we get the, today's uh, show on the road? Waiting to hear from the monkeys in the back to see whether or not everything is copacetic. Are they monkeys? I, I see there's a, there's a monkey in the crowd. There's one. and gentlemen the first match is our opening match for ignition tonight it is a biker bitches and brawn panties match and it's scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit panties match seriously first to the ring she comes from springfield tennessee she stands at five foot seven she weighs in at 155 pounds she is the Black Panther, Rosalind Grace. This is what they booked and didn't book me as champ. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know, I'm you know, I'm the man who oh, represents okay. this company. I, well, still. And this is all Scott Hex is doing. I know he's trying to get under my skin, but let him play these little games. It's not like it's going to do him any good. And once again, we asked it. People who are TPing in, they're TPing away from, from ringside. So they don't get, you know... We got snipers around, you know, and we're, this is a this is a sim full of bikers, so that would not be a good thing if, you know, you're TPing in the wrong place and they turn around and throw beer cans at you. Hey, you know all about that, don't you, Jay? And, you know, the, you know guns and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> Prez has it all under control. So, yeah, this is going to be a... It's going to be one of those interesting uh, matches, isn't it, there, Gata? Shall do him bowling for dollars. And her opponent, she comes from Liverpool, England. She stands at a towering six foot seven. She weighs two hundred and twenty eight pounds. She is the Firebird Phoenix. Now, she's got a new name, actually, isn't it? Like a... Uh, uh, Ira. Lyra, that's it, yes. She, Ira Phoenix. Is this and she's been, you know, meeting? And she's been, like, tearing up the scene. Again, we ask people to please stay off mic for this show. You know, only the people on commentary and the people in the ring should be on mic, you know, to, to help with the leg, you know, and, and just to enjoy the show, too, you know. It's, you know, it's only for, like, a couple hours. <laughs> Thank you. And also check, and also just check your mic too. You know, and sometimes if you're TPing in, you might get a, you might might be toggled. You know, and it's an XL glitch. You know, that's weird. one of those weird things that happens.
So is this the clan meeting? No, it's actually a wrestling event on the on the biker sim. And again, we asked people to please to stay off mic for the show and just you know just enjoy the show. You know, it's going to be a great, pretty good show. And turn off your radio too. <laughs> Ah, great. Is that who I think it is that I, heard, I just heard in the background? Uh, the gotta. Uh, you talking about Mr. Nick Halderman? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I kind of like him. I kind of don't like him. But, you know, he is the man, manager of champions, you know, things like that. You know. he, has, he has managed a lot of champions, you know. I see there's a Jay Alexander. He, he, the guy's just bitter because he got dragged behind a bike and had beer cans thrown at him. <laughs> Why do you hate no bikers, man? What'd they ever do to you? They, they threw beer cans at him. That's what they did. Oh, let's pray for him, brother. Well, again, we asked people to just please rolling. stay off mic. Yeah, just oh, the, sorry, the, I, I thought we were randomly talking. That's it's no, no. okay. <laughs> only, the, only commentary and the people that's uh, doing promos in, in the ring should be on mic for the show. Just for the show, guys. So don't don't worry. <laughs> yeah. And just ignore Jay. He's just trolling anyway, so just to get under your skin. Everybody ignores whatever his name is. What's, what, was his, what was his name again? Oh, I know that he's got these, these cheap Walmart uh, knockoffs that he calls championship belts. And that being said, how about we get this match on the way? We heard the bell. Alex is in the ring. And I think we're ready to go. And right now, it looks like they're... Big Phoenix went under the ring... She did. I think Nick told her to go underneath the ring. Nick, what are you trying to do here? Rosa comes out to find her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. This is all mind games. Yeah, see, Rosa went out to find her, and the, and the Phoenix went right back into the ring. She's playing mind games with Rosa here. Smart wrestling, if you think about it. I was not liking that she is in a bra and panties match. I don't see anything wrong with being in a bra and panties match. I wouldn't do it. There's nothing wrong with women being in a bra and panties match. I wouldn't do it. That Jay Alexander, what's his face? He wrestles in a bra and panties match every day, every time he gets in the ring. And pretends to be a wrestler. Well, right now, Rose is just telling you, uh, she's jawing at Nick for some reason. I don't know why she's jawing at Nick. Her, her focus should be on Phoenix, if you ask me. That Jay, whoever his name is, I'm never wrong. All right now, Rosalind is saying, you know, let's, you know, let's get this underway. Mm, I've been called a liar, guy. <laughs> um, nah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, starting things off with a drop kick already by uh, Rosa, knocking uh, Phoenix onto the mat. Awake? Quit, quit having, quit having candy. He sends. What, 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 you, you put the candy down. There's a wrestling match going on. We got a punch. And another punch. And I was sneezing. Oh, okay. Well, just, just so, so our fans and our biker fans at this great APW event uh, knows, 
all hate mail and all hate can be directed at that J. Alexander Frost guy. Uh, yeah, because he just loves being uh, attacked by bikers. He loves them all. His mom also told him he's the coolest guy in the world. But right now, it looks like, uh, Ro <laughs> looks like Ro Rosalind and uh, Phoenix are just John back and forth. And, no, and punching each Ro other. Yeah, Rosalind, she's not backing down at all. She's just taking the fight right to her. But Phoenix is not going down at all. She's not, she's not leaving her feet. Is somebody talking in the crowd? Rams forearm smash and an elbow strike and another forearm smash and another elbow strike and Rosa is still up also. Girls punching each other out but none of them are going down yet. Yeah, Phoenix refuses to go. Oh! Phoenix with that huge forearm smash right to the face too! Now an uppercut, but Rosa's not going down. <laughs> well, I've been doing quite well there, Nick. See, I know who Nick is. I know who Phoenix is. I know who Rosa is. I know who, I especially know who God is. I know who Alex is. I know, unfortunately, I know who Jasper is. Don't know who that J guy is, though. I've never heard of him ever in my life. He must, cur he must uh, jerk a lot of curtains. But getting back to the, what the real action is going on in the ring, these two are still brawling in, uh, in the middle of the match. <laughs> Hell, I even know who I am. Wow. I've been booked all over the place. Where have, where have you been? And we got a lockup. <laughs> well, finally we have a lockup after a brawl fest like that. <laughs> And Nick's telling uh, his client to stay focused. Nick's actually been a very busy man lately, all over the wrestling grid, you know, managing people, especially Phoenix, you know. Because the Phoenix has a real tough match tomorrow, but that's that's not with this promotion, with another promotion, but, you know, she's, she's going to be like hot stuff or something. Else. Phoenix showing her strength, pushing Rosa back into the corner. Well, there, there you go, right there. That's just common sense. Look, look at the size of Phoenix compared to Rosa. Phoenix is a very tall and a powerful woman, and she's, she's demonstrating it right there with that thrusting that shoulder right in the corner. Twice now, might I add? No, nope, three times. Times. Alex. Can we do like a, we do like a Booker T? Give an account. Five time. Five time. Beautiful Perfect hip kick. toss. Bring Rosa to the middle of the ring. Well, again, using that, she's using that strength to her definite advantage. And why wouldn't she? Again, all hate mail and 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 hate knives and hate bottles and stuff like that can be thrown at at J. Alexander. Just remember that, people. He loves it when you, when you pay attention to him. Beautiful knee drop on Rosa, sending Rosa down. She ain't moving too much. Well, Rosa's been uh, demonstrating her strength and her power, and she just, you know, there's this is a woman that just will not go down. Definitely, I think there's a future, there's going to be a title in her future, in the very near future, you know. But Phoenix on, trying to take off on, Rosa's pants. I, that, oh, okay. oh, that's right, this is a brown panties match. I keep forgetting that, you know. <laughs> well, apparently Rosa does not want her pants being taken off. I like one fan in, 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 the, in, the, in the crowd here. I'm, I'm sure she, they, he would love to see her pants being taken off. Isn't that right, Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Rose are not giving up her pants quite easily. Well, of course. You know, come on. Who really wants their pants being taken off in the, in the middle of a match? Ty. Did you just name say Ty wants her pants being taken off in the middle of a match? Really? Said not Ty. Oh, not Ty. Okay. I thought you said Ty. I was like, really? <laughs> Beautiful leg sweep. Sending Phoenix down. Well, that's one way to stop for. Uh, I can't believe I'm actually going to say this on commentary, but that's one way to stop uh, your pants from coming off. All right, and now, a kick to like the a leg. Yep, a, a kick right to the leg, and that's just smart of Rosalind going for that, going for that leg kick, knock down the tree. That that is Rosalind. Oh, huge mule kick, kind of a bus. Well, oh, wait, no, there's the bus saw kick right there. That's one way to knock her down. Hey Nick, you might have some problems. <laughs> Wow, that's well. That was actually well done. Well done. You just you just you just described Jay Alexander's uh, career in, in in one belt. And oh, oh there's a knee. yeah that that huge Japanese knee strike. Shades of Kenta. So any biker who's a wrestling fan knows about Kenta in, uh, in Japan. A great wrestler, a man who invented that move and basically you know gave it to Brian. Uh, Daniel Bryan in the WWE. He's been using it to a full extent. And of lesser known, Trent Beretta in the PWG. Trent Beretta's got a brutal knee strike, actually. <laughs> Women and looking kind of tired. Well, well, yeah, they're a little ah, worn out, and the fans are just enjoying this. They're drinking, they're, they're watching women beat each other up to take their clothes off. What more could you want? Well, actually, we probably want a little bit more. But <laughs> Sign you, Tab? That, that'll, that'll come after the drinking. <laughs> Nick's looking a little worried there in his jersey that we won't. Yeah. We have to talk to Nick about jerseys. I mean, I mean seriously. <laughs> right now, it seems like the both. What's. Oh, what? Uh, Phoenix is just, you know, she's taking an arm, wrenching it, and the crowd is now getting into this. The wrenching wrist lock, pulling back on Rose's arm, trying to take it out. Well, dislocating the arm as well. Take her arm out, and there goes, and there goes her as a wrist. Oh, look at this, she's got her. That was interesting. Beautiful arm trap gorilla press. Sending Rosa down on the mat, and then we got some outlaw stomps just to back it up a little bit. But you notice how she did that? She just she locked, she interlocked her fingers in with Rosa, started squeezing them almost in a you know, unique submission, demonstrating that power, and then she just picked her up and tossed her. That woman is an Amazon in there. And I'm sure a lot of our biker fans can appreciate that. See? They appreciate it. Now, uh... Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, Gala. I'm not, trying okay. to, I'm not trying to talk over you. <laughs> Phoenix got Rosa down, trying for, it looks like her shirt now. Wait. I took that the wrong way. Did you say that she was trying to look down her shirt? to get her shirt, taking her shirt off. Oh, okay. And Phoenix rips Rose's shirt off. Well, that's... Well, and the fans are loving that. See, this is... The fans like this kind of thing. Hey, wait. Those guys, those fans over there, they have couches? And we got these... Chi I'm jealous. I want a couch. For the beer. God damn it. I, I, I'll set that, you know... <laughs> You know I am straight edge. I, I I will accept that beer, and I'll be ten. I'll be, hell, I won't even be straight edge for the show. Go 
is a still has her pants on but has no shirt on. Well, there you go. What? This is, you know, how can you not, like, hey, I'm getting a whole bunch of beers from people. This is great. <laughs> That's right. The champion needs beers, everyone. <laughs> and, oh, her Corona by Rosa as I'm getting more beers. <laughs> they want you drunk. Anyway, <laughs> Rosa <laughs> saving herself from the vertical, vertical suplex, doing a huge her Corona. And sending Phoenix down. I'll be sharing these with my tag team partner. With my, uh, well, he's not really my tag team partner. He's more of a training partner. But Derek, we, Huge we'll share kick some to the later. leg. And the kitty cat strike. And the fans don't seem to like Rosa that much. Even though they do like the fact that she is almost topless. Almost topless. Not a bra. Right? Topless there. Yeah, that's why I said. That's why I said almost topless. I didn't say completely topless. What I'm saying that you know, there has to be some PG. That, well, whoever did that burp, good burp. Oh, wait, that Phoenix was the monkeys going in the back. to the ropes. Yeah, Phoenix seems to be, you know, she seems to be uh, crawling the ropes there. She's just, like she's trying to get uh, shake it off or something. Bad mistake, holding on to the ropes with Rosa behind her. Oh, I agree. Rosa can come up, uh, come up behind Phoenix, and whoosh, there goes her pants, just like that. She can pants for Phoenix from here, and we'd all be peeping toms, dicks, Harrys. You know, it depends on whatever your name is. We'd all be peeping, whatever your name is. Kurt. Bert. See, Derek's are up for that. He's already excited. And Rosa choking Phoenix on the rope. Now, in this kind of match, that is actually smart wrestling. Because believe it or not, there are no rules in this match. You can, you know, you can bring chairs, I think. Yeah, I, I, I'm, being, I'm being told I think you, that's something like that, isn't it? It's no DQ. Referee? I don't, I don't think it's DQ. Referee, is there, is it, is there no DQ. rules in this? Can you be DQ'd? Really? Once again, once again, all hate, all hate knives can be stabbed into J. Alexander Frost's back, courtesy of J. Alexander Frost. Beautiful See, neck wrench like hold. That. Well, this is again, this is just smart wrestling by Rosa, keeping keeping Phoenix on the mat, on the ground, because if she's on the ground, she can't wrestle. If she can't wrestle, well, obviously, she's not going to win the match. So, that's this is just smart wrestling. And for all we know, Rosa can actually uh, reach down and start trying to lift her shirt off, too. Yeah. See, it's a double advantage. Right now, Rosa just beating the crap out of uh, Phoenix. Something you don't see uh, Phoenix do too often. Picking up Phoenix. That's a lot of hair to use to pick pick her up, isn't it? I mean, Phoenix got that wild hairstyle. Huge pump handle slam. Oh, but yeah, Phoenix going for that pump handle slam. Pick, you're hooking her up. There it is, and boom with authority. And now got huge kick to the gut. This is not look awesome. This is not looking good for Rosa there, Gata. No, it's not. Beautiful knee to neck breaker. Ooh, nice move. From Phoenix. For Rosa. Did not get the good end of that one. Well, this, this just in, I understand they just retired a, a corner here on the sim. So, J. Alexander Frost, sorry to hear that your, your mom's now out of work. Anyway. <laughs> what? I'm just stating facts. It was... It was 
It was on. It was on SLK Fabe News. It was an. It was an important fact. Phoenix throwing Rosa into the corner with a Thora tie. Why, thank you there, uh, Nick. <laughs> and came in just roaring with the blazing boot, sending Rosa down on her face. Well, that's one, that, again, that's one way, you know. Again, Phoenix just using that power to her advantage. And not only that, that's, she, again, she's a tall woman. I mean, she... Uh, let me put it this way. I bet you all a few MCs here will be looking up to Phoenix. You know, that is one, one big ass woman in that, in that ring. <laughs> Beautiful front face lock. Now here's the president's now, here's getting the a thing. good chuckle. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> uh, here's the thing, and this would this would all be legal. She could put her having that front face lock, and what she just released, but she could actually have a chokehold on her, and that would just be smart wrestling. Because then, if you choke her out. Which she can't Beautiful really fight corner push-up head scissors. She's oh. got locked. Rosa's got locked on Phoenix. Yes, the uh, Phoenix was not expecting that from Rosa. There's only one way to go, and I, I, maybe Nick should get out of the way because she might be going nor next way here. Yeah, that's just smart, Nick. <laughs> so he gets back in the spot. That that wasn't smart. <laughs> Is she actually? Oh, and the head scissors take down, knocking the phoenix down on her back. Rosa showing that agility that she has. The fans may be booing her, but Rosa's got some pretty good agility. You gotta give give her credit. She knows what she's doing in that ring. What? What? what man, she just roll out of the ring and roll right back in. What? What? what, what did she did again? Where's she going? Rosa giving Phoenix a hand up. But, you know, oh, really the up, revolution! Well, she's if she wasn't pissed off before, she's pissed off now. She just got a huge boot to the back of the head. <laughs> that is, if she's awake. <laughs> I think she got knocked out on that one. What what what's Ro what's Rosa doing now? She's grabbing Phoenix's pants. I think she's trying to take those pants off, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody with their beers, get their get your binoculars ready. No, I, I I heard that somebody tried to peep in the peep in on the Phoenix one time. He's that person's still in the hospital. And the pants are off. Both ladies are tied. They make a replacement teeth for him. He's got no shirt and Phoenix got no pants, so it could be anybody's match now. And right now Phoenix is going commando base well almost commando. Panties on. Yeah, very Just tiny. being a pervert. Damn right I am. I'm the champ. I could be a pervert. Oh, you can't be a pervert. Anyway, Rosa picking up Phoenix, <laughs> but no, Phoenix showing her power with a huge Samoan drop. If she could do that, I could be a pervert. <laughs> and Nick liked that so much he new popped. What a great! He was celebrating so much he did a new pop there for everybody. And huge and right wrenching now, wrist lock. <laughs> right now, yeah, going for that wrenching wrist. Oh, what that, uh, what that hook kick! <laughs> Take a page out of my book there. And for a woman her size, that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> now we need another beer after this. <laughs> got Rosa by the hair. Hey, did you know they make candy beer around here? I don't want candy beer. I want sign you. I want sign you tab. Beer. So with a great big huge mule kick, sending Phoenix down to one knee. 
I'm sure if you talk to a certain uh, uh, a few uh, bikers, you probably get something for for your cold. I could hook you up. Not to say that any of the bikers are you know drug dealers or anything. They, they don't know how to get past certain rules. I'm just saying. Kurt. Kurt, just go to the shoppers and grab me some sign new tab. Um. Later. Right now we got a match to call, and the uh, Rosin. Uh, I don't know what that move was. That was a. Uh, uh, that was an interesting move. Uh, having the advantage over Phoenix, it seems like, but huge Irish rip into the corner. Are you sure Phoenix is wearing any panties? I, I barely see anything She's on. Wearing it. panties. I did this. She's wearing panties. I, I believe you. I'm just saying. She, from my angle, she looks like she's going commando. Not that that's a bad thing. Corner ten punches. She just she just pounded that fist right into Phoenix's head there. But oh, huge Sido power bomb. Well, that's one way to stop that. <laughs> and with somebody hurt with her strength and her size, yeah, that that's a game changer right there, ladies and gentlemen. Vicious stomp right in Rosa's midsection, knocking the air out of her. This is not good for Rosa. This is not good. I see a pants coming off. <laughs> or maybe not. Be a shirt. You never know. And we have an Irish whip. Huge wildfire lariat. Connecting. That's about it. I think that should. That's about. Yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I no nobody gets up from the wildfire lariat, and she's going for those pants. Yep, yep. Here we go. She starts pulling them off, everybody. Just like Christmas, revealing. Calm down, Jasper. Calm down. Calm down. I, Well, she's saying that black matches her. Did she take off the pants? Yep, oh, she take she off the, the pants. pants off. Yep. And your <laughs> winner by um, stripping her opponent, I guess, is her, Phoenix. Your, your winner by pantsing. Winner by something. Anyway, yeah. it's Phoenix. Truly, isn't isn't the fans the real winners in all of this? No, you are. You're drooling a little bit. You might want to. I'm not drooling. Wipe your chin a little bit, there, dear. I'm not drooling. Well, well I am kind of drooling because I'm looking at my lovely wife. But that, 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 you know. I always drool when I look at her. Nick, there's a mic. Cut the music! First off, you all are very lucky that you got to see Phoenix here in the first place. Wait, 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 this wait, place wait, 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 is Nick. horrible and it smells bad. And... What's up, Kurt? Rosalind just uh, attacked uh, Phoenix, you know, gave her a, ch a chop block right to the leg there. Honestly, you didn't like uh, losing that match. Well, that's on her. I'm sorry, but that's on her. You know, what can you do? We'll deal with that some other time. Right now, uh, I want to talk about my other client that I kind of mentioned last week when I announced I was managing Phoenix. I said there was another client. This client, sadly, right now is in jail, but I have high-powered attorneys, don't I, Phoenix? And, uh... <laughs> They're working on getting my new, my new client out of jail and here in the APW as soon as possible. Wait, wait, wait! You got you, you got the chops? Really? You you got you actually? No, the chops? I don't, Kurt. <laughs> I do not, Kurt. But you will know who they are when it's time. 
<laughs> Phoenix, let's get the hell out of here before we lose any more brain cells with this retarded crowd and that dime store wannabe chump. Uh, I mean, whoever the hell he is. J. Alexander Frost. Feeding the well, monkeys. Next. Well, 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 Nick is showing that he's an equal opportunity employer because he's hiring people that's in jail, which, oddly enough, uh, but that's a good place to, you know, re recruit new uh, new clients. You'd be, you'd be surprised when, uh, when you could find in jail. For instance, we got J. Alexander Frost. He, he married a jailbird. Quit feeding the monkeys. He's not even a monkey. What are you talking about? And we're waiting for word from the back about match number two. I don't know. For some reason, I like this song. Uh, we got to pay the bills. We gotta do the sponsor thing now. We gotta pay. Gotta pay bills. Have to pay the bills. Okay. Well, let, let me let me bring up my 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 bail thing up. As soon as it loads, because sec because Second Life is being Second Life. Ah, oh, there it is. It's loaded. You want to start? To, you want to do the first one? I'll do the second one and stuff like that. First, I'd like to thank Divine Terror Motorcycle Club for having us here. Woot woot! That's so right. we can put on this wonderful show for you all. I like to thank them. I like to thank all the bikers for sending me beers too. You guys rock. Mm, you guys rock. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Tyrus the Nova interviews. Do you want to learn about your favorite wrestler? At tyrusthenova.blogspot.com is a place to go. Weekly updated blog with a new wrestler being interviewed. Over 40 interviews already with tons of veterans in SL wrestling. Make sure that you visit tyrusthenova.blogspot.com. Big Baby Get Like Me Animations. Do you ever want, want to fill the pan with a little something? Something to boost your appetite and custom uh, needs for your movesets? Then contact Derek Colt. That's that guy right beside me that's in the crowd in the cowboy hat. Derek Colt. Or come on down to Big Baby and get, get Like Me Animations for the best in Japanese MMA and old school moves. If you want the best in animations, just get like me or get like Derek Colt. Rainbow Kids Productions. Do your kids love fashion as much as you do? Then stop by Rainbow Kids Productions, where they have fashion shows especially for kids. From toddly do to tiny tot or just regular kids, anything is possible. They will show you ver various and interesting new styles in SL Kids Fashion World today. For more information, call uh, contact Sky Sharple or Maisie Miles, or drop by the office of the Little Dreams Mall. But don't contact I don't know that. I don't know that like that. Don't know their name. Wildfire, are you tired and bored of looking at all those entrance videos that don't have the slight spark of flame to it? Team Wildfire has that burning desire that can make your video not only unique, but have that 3D professional feel to it as you blaze the stage wow in the crowd as well as your fans. Also, get the fire package which allows your video to receive that fiery touch as SL footage can always be added into your videos, as well as slight tweaks to keep to keeping the flame burning. Team Wildfire plays in the stage one video at a time. Blackheart Designs, the number one stop for all your texturing work. Need them for cars, bikes, logos? Blackheart Designs can get it all done for you. Contact Broly Yakubu for pricing and details. I have something enough about that, but I'll, 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 I'll read that too, okay? Uh, we like to thank Intox Intoxication no. Tattoo and Sport for sponsoring this event. Intoxication Tattoo and Sport is your source for a high quality, quality sportswear and tattoos. Look for their vendor in the arena, at, uh, at the APW Arena, for the Broncos and Seahawks gear to show support in your, of your team of the F Super Bowl 48. Oh, yeah, that was a hell of a game. Enchanted Visions Photography. Want to capture that special moment forever? At Enchanted Visions, they bring you good quality photos for affordable prices. For more information, please contact Sky Sharple or Aurora Flinders or stop by the office in the Little Dreams Mall. Hey, look at that. Derek, Derek has, has cornbread beer.
Yay! Yay! See that? He's got cornbread for you. I want to know where he's cornbread for you. See, he's uh, he's 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 all happy. Well, that being said, we already we paid the bills, yeah, yeah, and I think uh, got a sneeze again because oh she's gone very quiet. So how about we get how about we get back to the action? What do you what do you fans say? Do you think we should get back to the wrestling action? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Well, we, we, we would get back to the wrestling action if it wasn't for this guy coming out. That be Scott Hex. As I said, Scott Hex is the he's the, he's the vice president of APW, and he also he also has the contract of the APW Metaverse uh, title shot. <laughs> like I'm scared of that. <laughs> oh look, he's coming with his uh, his little his little uh, what do you call him? See, see, his entourage. It'll be nice. I'm going to call him pussy because I've uh, defeated them all in matches myself. Kurt, how about you shut the hell up? Um, no. <laughs> That's right, Kurt. I do, in this briefcase, have a contract to go against you. And you know what? You're right. I haven't beat you once. But that's all gonna friggin' change, because see, this time around, I'm seriously gonna take you <sighs> to school. I'm gonna make you bleed, and then when the bell rings, I'm going to be holding up what is rightfully mine, and that is the Metaverse Championship. All right, Kurt? Do you want to stand me on that? I'm not playing this around this time. Let's just, let's just have the record straight. You've always tried to make me tap, but have you? Have you ever made me tap? No, you haven't. How's that arm not there, what? Scott? <laughs> just, when it comes down to it, Kurt... The only person that's going to be walking out with their head low is you. All right? I'm bringing the belt back to me where it rightfully belongs. Is he done talking yet? No, he I'm not he, done talking. He said the same thing Kurt. over and over and over. And he just... Uh, so it, it, it gets annoying, you know? <laughs> You know, I've been in this company for a very long time, and as a lot of people don't know, you know, I was the first ever heavyweight champion of this camp of this company, and it, I guarantee it's going to happen. He's still talking. Isn't he? <laughs> if I have to go through you, Kurt, then so let it be, because after this. I'm going to go. That's right. I'm going to state it right here. If I don't beat Kurt Bombastic for the Metaverse Championship, I'm hanging my boots at APW. I'm Everybody gonna... get ready to say goodbye to Scott Hex. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to leave this ring with no regrets. I'm going to walk into the back. And you will not see me step foot as an active wrestler at APW anymore. I mean it. Bottom line, Kurt, you're not going to beat me. I'm finally going to take back what's mine, and that is the APW Metaverse Championship from you. Now hit my music. Many of Many people have said the same thing, and I've retired them all. I got no problem retiring another. Was that what he came out to say? Got it. Wait, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Got it. Candy. What? He, he, he's done. He's done. He's, uh, he has nothing actually to say. He had lots to say. He said that if he loses to you, he's going to retire. 
And, and I if have he no wins, retiring him. then he's going to retire you. I nope. <laughs> yeah, that's a dream. <laughs> going to retire you of your belt. No, no, no. That belt is staying right where it belongs. That being said, now that Scott basically you know wasted our time and you know. <sighs> how about we get out uh, on to our next match? Like we said we were gonna do. Uh, uh, the monkeys in the back. Uh, we're having okay. a little bit of technical difficulties. We are apologizing for this right now. Something is wrong with the video. Sorry. Have some gremlins that are working on it as we speak. So hopefully we'll be able to get this done for you very, very shortly, and we can get on with the action. Well, that's what happens when we order from a, from a German company. You know, order technology from a German company. It's inferior products. Hey, okay, we're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a beer bottle bash match, and it is scheduled for one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Wait, First wait. to the ring. He comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He stands at six foot six. He weighs 245 pounds. He is the Mave Machine, Maven Gothley. Wait, did, did you say this is a beer bottle bash match? Seriously, a beer bottle. What is a beer bottle bash match? Other than the, and the other than all, all our fans out uh, out at ringside having a beer bash, that's completely obviously. Different. I don't know. Car. Wait. Yeah, you hear that too? I do. We are by a free the... maybe it's not. We have a that, car. That, 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 that's not coming from the freeway. Or is it? Oh. Someone no, just parked his car. What's going on here? It's Maven. Maven. You're not supposed to park your car here. Leave it to Maven. This is a biker rally. He arrives in a car. All right. That's a pretty nice car, though. That's actually a pretty badass car. You know, I have a really nice bike. I got a bike. I got a pretty badass bike too. You know what's even better, though? Hmm. Vendetta has a rope shoot in Sydney. Uh, Sydney Bear. No, she does. I'm and it's jealous. on her head. Yes. I don't think the bi I don't think the bikers are really appreciating that Maven had just arrived in his car. It's a nice car, but they, they 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 might they're looking at playing baseball with it. And Maven's had no luck with his cars lately. It's ever since Scott uh, Scott Hex and his crew decided to burn his old car. Either way, Maven is at uh, ringside. He's he's waiting for his opponent. Not he's not in in the ring yet. Shot somebody in the head by accident. Did you shoot? Are you shooting people with your candy gun again? They're uh, they're gotta. Mm. And his opponent, he comes from Newark, New Jersey. He stands at six foot five. He weighs two hundred and thirty-five pounds. He is known as the Midnight Wolf, Wolfie Kessel. This is why I come to these events wearing the bulletproof vest. I'm serious, like. <laughs> That being said, here comes the dog pound. That's right, I called him the dog pound. I've got a history of this guy. I got a history of just uh, about everybody. I got a history of Maven. I got a history of Wolfie Kessel. I got a, got a history you of You know why you have there. a history with everybody? That's right, I got a history of everybody. Why you have a history with everybody? Because, I, because they don't like my truth. 
No, because you're a mini pooty head. That's why. Your point. In wrestling, it pays to be a, uh, an asshole. Just say it. You're a mini pooty oh. head, and not a lot of people like you. That and this affects me how. Well, of wait, this wait. match are beer bottles are allowed to be used as weapons. That's right. I was, and I was going to say, you know, um, the fans seem to be like the fact that the uh, Wolfie Castle is out here. So they're allowed to knock each other out with beer bottles. I think that's the way you win the match. I'm only assuming. Ah, uh, this is a we, new one for me. We would hope that the beer bottles are empty by the time well, they Well, the use beer them. bottles should be empty because that'd be a waste of beer. Exactly. And, 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 we, and I can tell that this, this, is a, uh, this is a fan base that does not believe in any waste of beer. Balls count, no count outs, no DQ. I got the skinny on the mat. But don't you feel special? The same. They better be empty. So there you go. See? Yeah. Yeah. See? These bikers does not want to see. You know, so far it's been an easy night for our official tonight, hasn't it? Our referees had a very, very easy night. Yeah, she's a pretty easy night. This is pretty good for her. Staring down each other, and and I'm sure the bikers like liking liking the fact that she's easy on the eyes too. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, and another way is if the competitor is too drunk to stand. Wait, wait, wait! There's drinking involved in this yes, match. Yes, there's this drinking. This match just got better, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Then again, if you've ever been to a Maven Gothley match, you understand, you'd understand why uh, you know, drinking would be involved. Huge Irish whip. And also, to watch a Wolfie Kessel match, you'd have to drink to even get through it. Well, we can always throw beer bottles at the guys. I, 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 ooh. Can I throw beer bottles on? Oh, no, because you're a meanie pooty head and you're not allowed. Oh. Doesn't mean that the fans can't. Well, either way, we just, we're, we're, <laughs> we should be focusing on the action. You know, maybe <laughs> I know, right? Maybe with a back elbow smash, knocking Muffy down. Um, now that it's having a huge brawl here. But wait, no, no I think. Uh, oh, I think uh, maybe went for a kick to the gut. But, but Wuffy caught him and went for a roundhouse kick, but these two are still brawling. And now maybe going for a... It's going to be one of those shows, everybody. Maybe going for a, a huge lariat sends Wuffy all on the floor. Wuffy, I don't think it's going to be a good thing to be on that floor. Who knows what's been on that floor. I don't think it's a good idea anyway, because there's already beer cans being thrown. Yeah, I, yeah, I see how, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a recycler's empty. dream. <laughs> is there empty, so this is good. As I said, this is a recycler's dream. They're, they're just loving this, you know. <laughs> if Wolfie Castle and Maven was in the recycle business, they'd be, they'd be rich right about now. <laughs> Be getting well, up, not getting, looking too good. Wolfie's getting what? Oh, I think Wolfie was wiping all that, that those beers off his uh, beer cans off his face, and maybe came up behind him with shots to the back of his uh, head. Yep. Oh, I, oh, I think he was targeting his back there. And they're getting close to us. Don't get close to me. You smell like some cheap. Cheap American beer when you shouldn't be out having Canadian beers. Ah! Oh my God. Um, this will not end well. The kitty. That's why I'm hoofed. <laughs> Wolfie grabbing Maven. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not going to end well. 
Let me see if I can Ground here. stomp. Yes, this is not going to end well. I don't want to be hit. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, in case you wanted, that's how you get out of a chair. You leap in the sky. But anyways, <laughs> maybe, uh, Wolfie's uh, grabbing Maven by the hair. That's a lot of hair to pick up. And oh, hey, he's going for a huge body slam right in the table. The scoop slam into the table. And body slam, scoop slam. It's the same thing. I told El Chris when he was making these moves, call it a body slam, and he, no, no, he didn't do it. But the table still stands. If the table breaks, all bills will be going to Tyler Corvus. Because we just blame, stand him, blame here. everything on him. Yes. Now Wolfie's grabbed Maven again. But you see, see, everybody agrees with me. Um, Wolfie grabs Maven again. Buy all that hair. One of these days, Maven's going to get a short haircut and shock us all. Huge Irish whip into the barricade. Okay. They want him to rip his pants off. There you go. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Nobody wants to see Maven naked. <laughs> Fans, come on. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to see Maven naked. No, nobody wants to see Maven naked. Come on! <laughs> I'm trying to keep my lunch in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and oh! D nice draw kick over the barrier by Wolfie! Well, Man, it's going out to the crowd. Hey, there's a fire There's a fire pit over there. If that guy is any closer, that might get uh, dangerous. Can we have Singe Maven or maybe a Singe, singe Wolf? Hey, as long as I'm not snitched, I don't care. Anyway, well, going, going up, up and huge shooting star press. Well, our security is like right there. Back down again. Yay. See, that's how good security is here. He, you know, he's like right in the, he's like right in the action. He could almost be the referee for this match. Actually, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> Can we sit down now? We're safe. Okay. Our ref is just taking a look. It's just a few official. She just has to call it. Yeah, not to take anything away from Alex's job. Alex is doing a really good job. But not looking too good on his back on the ground as Wolfie is stalking him. You know what they need to make this match complete? They need a rope shooting city to wash bit, wa uh, washborn uh, bear. Huge outlaw stomps. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, yes, they, they do. No. Just like no, the one no, vendetta's no. wearing on our head. No, they don't. It's a rare item. You're a rare item. Damn right I am. One of a kind. But Wolfie is uh, stomping the hell out of uh, Maven. Just... I would, I would say stomping a mud hole in him, but I think he's stomping him in a mud hole. Seriously, literally, he's stomping him in a mud hole. The flying elbow. Wolfie backs up a little bit. Not, not looking too good. Trying to get the cobwebs out. Wolfie. Um, trying to get his own cobwebs out. Yeah, that's it. Huge eye rake. Huge chop. And a gut kick. Taking it really close to you guys. A beautiful snap suplex. And 
dragging Wolfie somewhere. I'm not quite sure where he's ma moving him to. It's moving him to his car. Fist drop and a double axe handle drop. What? Maven's rooting in his car. Don't know what for. He's drinking a beer. It's a can. Maven spits good beer on Wolfie. If it is warm, it's still good beer. So we know what Maven does. Spit and beer. That should be blasphemy. I agree, it's a waste. And a huge strike with the can in Wolfie's head, knocking Wolfie down as he wastes good beer. Picking Wolfie up. And an eye rake. Somebody dumped beer all over my mic. I said I had to plug it back in and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> and spitting beer at people. Lovely. That's just classy. Well, I was getting. Well, I was getting. Oh, good. and he's dumping it on Wolfie. Huge gut kick and a front face lock. Yeah, he's spitting it and dumping it on Wolfie. Where, 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 where are they? I, I, you know, I, I'm trying to get clean up there. Where, where are they? Are they by the car? By the car. Wolfie, power bomb them on the car. Actually, I think I think Maven's going to power bomb them on the car. Well, the fans are just loving this match. Huh? That Cobra guy, he's he's. I think he's looking to throw some some smokes in that car. He's just smoking up a storm. That or he's going to kick Wolf Maven's butt for wasting beer. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there, that's not a good thing, Maven. You're wasting beer in front of these bikers. They're not happy with you already. Shame on you, sir. Shame on Maven you. Maven trying to do a super a suplex, but no, Wolfie's stopping it. He's trying to suplex him onto the car, but Wolfie's going, no way. They're Huge fear matter, they're muddy, they're... They're, they're trying it again, but <laughs> no. <laughs> B is not going to get suplexed onto his car. And Maven is call and Maven is calling Wolfie a commoner, or so or common or something. I don't know. <laughs> and come on. I know. I know he's trying to say come on, but he came out common for some reason. <laughs> Ian still got his pants on. Thank God. <laughs> He's trying to do it again, and no. no get the pants on. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a naked Wolfie or a naked Maven. <laughs> Except for Huge his pants off. Huge yeah. kick, sending Maven onto his car. They're saying toss Maven in the trunk. Actually, that sounds like a very good idea. I, I agree with that. I heard that Maven's got a case of beer in the, in the trunk, so maybe, you know, he, he, he's set. He's, he'll, be, he'll be good for a bit. <laughs> you Wolfie picking up Maven. <laughs> 
See, see, they, they know that they have priorities. They take out the beer first, then they'll drink it, then they'll toss toss them in the trunk. Yeah, that's priorities. <laughs> that's the way to do it. That's right. Oh, and a huge gourd buster. Right on the car, too, might we add. That that had to have hurt. <laughs> Did a bit. And he almost landed right through the windshield, actually. That was, uh, well, that maybe was slowly sliding off the car. Yeah. That's his wax job. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know Just Wolfie me. is a favorite today. What, you think? <laughs> maybe it's the name Wolfie. You, you, would, you would think the way Maven's dressed up that may, he'd be a uh, favorite, but uh, maybe they're looking at Maven as some kind of poser or something. I don't know. A car. Oh, well, that's true. It didn't help that he brought a car to a bike rally. That's kind of ridiculous. That's like bringing a, a Winnebago to a bike rally. That is if Winnebago's are still out there these days. I don't know. I haven't seen a Winnebago in years. <laughs> Aging yourself. <laughs> Fee standing over Maven. Well, the fans are just, you know, I think Wolfie's uh, taking this all in. He's loving the fans' uh, attention. And who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Oh, he's wiping the, the mud and the, and the beer out of his eyes. Oh, that. huge howling elbow sending Maven back down to the ground. I think maybe one man boobs. I think maybe one face first into the mud there. Then he wants Maven naked. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want Maven naked. I was going to say, Slade was standing right there, and he, he I don't think he wants to see Maven naked. Derek doesn't <laughs> want to see Maven naked. Chrissy doesn't want to see Ma Maven naked. She's just too busy with her beer that's... Beautiful awesome roundhouse back. kick. And Wolfie pushing <laughs> Maven back to the ring. And the head, the head over towards Chrissy and, the, and the Derek, and they're saying, Oh, hell no, he's getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Heading back to the ring. That is some great security we have here. I mean, he's like right on top of that stuff. That's that's badass stuff. I might hire this guy for my personal security. I don't know. High five. Somebody's having another beer. The fans are telling Huge them drop on. kick oh! to the face, oh, knocking Maven ass over the tea kettle back over the barricade. And the beer is safe, everyone. The beer is safe. <laughs> A, the beer is safe. The beer is safe. That's the important part. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those shows. <laughs> See, I think the fans are more are cheering that the fact that the beer is safe, <laughs> not the fact that Maven's. Well, right now it looks like uh, Wolfie's wiping his feet on Maven's back. Lovely. <laughs> this is only the second match, too, isn't it? Misty stealing Kendra's beer. Now, uh, Wolfie throwing Maven back in the ring, where they should have... Oh, this has been everywhere. And again, he's wiping his feet on, on Maven. That's actually kind of a classless act, and I like it. And right now, it looks like Wolfie's trash-talking. Maven. And back in the ring, uh, which is good. Well, yeah. I'm waiting for fans to start throwing cans in the ring. I'm, it's going to happen. I just, I just feel it's going to happen tonight. Another oh, howling oh, elbow. Oh. No. Like he went for that, yeah, he went for that howling elbow, but uh, but maybe caught it with that wrench and wrist lock. One way to start that, 
Elbow smash. Nice counter on Maven's part. As Maven wipes the mud out of his eyes. Maven coming off the ropes, and what's this? And oh, this, no, yes! I almost thought he missed that, but no, Discus clothesline. I think Maven landed on his belt buckle and, and bagged himself. He's holding his crotch. <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you wear those big belt buckles. <laughs> Especially in the match. <laughs> and taking control of this match. Well, now he's... Now he's back to his feet. Oh, he's got something planned. Can we, could this be the Welder's Flash? Well, I don't know, because Wolfie's just not going to... Oh, was, uh, as I just said that, Wolfie starts getting up. God damn he's you, Wolfie. getting up. We have medics just, uh, here? Just a oh, huge cut and kick to the gut. And there it is. Here it comes. Welder's Flash, everybody. He's got him hooked up and... Oh, drops him. Going for the cover here. I thought the one in this match where you have to smash a beer bottle over somebody's head. One, two, and three! Well, no, this two. You can have him fall. Well, I guess we just made it up. The winner of this, this match, though, ladies and gentlemen, Maven Gopley! Yep. By pinfall. All muddy, beer batted. Um. He's been he's been canned. Yay! Right now, what what what's Maven got? What's Maven doing here? Looking up what is he doing? Yeah, well, obviously he's doing that. <laughs> Was he, was he rubbing the beer in Wuffy's hair? Dude, shifting into made... high gear. What is this? He just shifted it into high gear. Animation like. Oh, that big boot! Yeah, yeah, damn animation like. I think I'm, I think I got beer on me. That uh, go went slow for me. Uh. Maybe just even Wolfie uh, laid out. Wolfie is. I'm sure he's going to want to get revenge on this. He's not. He's not too happy. Okay, oh. now we are on to match three. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a biker's brawl. Now we're going to have a biker... What is with yep. these... C we, versus we MC match, and these. it's scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Oh, That's... wait! Oh, I heard about this. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the, the bikers will like this one. Okay. Yes, let's go for it. Representing yes. Divine Terror, he comes from Dallas, Texas. He stands at 7 foot tall. He weighs 236 pounds. He is Cam Satoko. You got it right. I actually I was going to screw that up too. Don't feel bad. <laughs> so this is gonna. This is a match of two biker uh, uh, biker clubs going at it. This will be actually quite interesting. Because then we've seen beer, beer bottles, beer cans. We've seen strippers. People want clothes being ripped off. What else can we see today? Jenny wants nudity. Really? <laughs> it's asking for. Well, see. Uh, thank you, Misty. I've been, I've just gotten out of your shower. I feel so much better now. <laughs>
Lovely. As Cam is in the <laughs> ring and gets checked by our beautiful ref. I will bring out his opponent. He is representing the Wild Ones. He comes from Death Valley. He stands at 6 foot 10, weighs 300 pounds. He is Wrath. Hello, hello, hello. This is going to be an interesting match because both of these guys are big, big guys. I have faced Wrath in the past. He's a big man. I've defeated him, though. One, two, three, pin. And here, yeah, here comes the big man himself. The bodyguard to Dixie. And oh, look at that. He's well, DT uh, shy balls count him. anywhere. Yeah, well, this is a biker brawl. You, you, you really going to stop telling these guys you have to keep it in the ring? Yeah, good luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be very surprised if somebody Cute, doesn't I pull out a knife. Well, I'm just saying! <laughs> Did I can bat my big green eyes and say please? I don't think there will be any pretty please in this match. <laughs> there, gotta... And there won't be any candy either in this match. <laughs> well, both men have taken off, have taken off their colors. You know, don't want to disrespect the colors. And already starting off. Ooh, <laughs> rather than a huge punch. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to see any. You're not going to see a scientific match here. You're just going to see a. You're just going to see a fight. I'll be very. I wouldn't be very surprised if somebody picked up a bike and used it as a weapon. They did it on the Simpsons. Huge big boot. Ending him down. And ladies and gentlemen, that was a biker boot too, might we add? And oh, and a huge fist, fist drop. drop. <laughs> Is, is, is Wrath doing what I think he's doing? Yep. Is he thrusting his hips in the in the in his opponent's uh, direction? <laughs> That's funny. That's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, right now. I'm so. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to block that out of my mo my memory from now on. Graf, <laughs> graf He's offering yeah. mouth to mouth. If any of you guys fall down, Yay! just thought that I would remind you all of that. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Well, there's a huge eye rake, eye rake by yeah, by uh by Cam there. Another uh, huge punch. Ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't no Greco style eye rake. That was no strong style eye rake. That was a just a an eye rake. Minty fresh. That's good when you're doing mouth to mouth. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Any. Oh, okay. I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention to this match. This is uh, yeah. This is just a. Uh, Wow, this is just a Pay brawl here. Now the they're, they're You're locking just being up. You're just a mini pootie head and being a snob. I am too. And right, right now, huge shove by uh, Wrath. As I said, these are two big guys, and there's there's nothing scientific about this match at all. Well, what's he doing now? I think he's looking for a beer. Yeah, he's, he's going to the outside. He's looking for a beer. I bet. Anybody got a beer for Wrath? Yes. Well, he's, got, he's, he's over by Shy, and wait, 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 no, Cam is up, back to his feet, and oh, yeah, everybody's, and everybody's throwing Wrath a beer! <laughs> what a generous crowd we have tonight! <laughs> You know, Cam came out and uh, it looked like he, he looked like he wanted a beer too, and he got knocked down with that. He, it looks like Wrath has a bar or, or some kind of 
I, that or something in his hand. It's hard to tell. Too many beer cans in his way. Yeah, well, I know. It's too, Chrissy. At this rate, you know, Camera Kitty's going to be having a beer. I've never seen Camera Kitty jump. That'd be interesting. Oh, I think Wrath had a metal <laughs> pipe in his hand. Funny. He's, now he's picking up, uh, he's picking up. I'm a little confused here. I, 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 all I'm seeing is like beer cans being thrown in. Yeah. You okay over there, Gala? It's hard to confuse you, Bombastic. Well, I, I saw them go to the outside. I think Wrath was asking for beers. Beer cans were, th were thrown at him as Cam was coming out. And the next thing I saw, I saw Cam go down. And, oh, uh, speaking of which, Cam just shoved Wrath right into that barricade. Jason, be careful. You don't want to drop your beer over there. Security's telling Jason, you know, back off, you know, we don't want to see your beer just being dropped, you know. It's, it's very important. Oh my goodness. Shy's yeah, this is just, yeah. Shy's, Shy's telling her man to get, you know, to get back to his feet and, and kick his ass. Cam's Cameron getting on. a weapon. Yeah, it looks like, I think he's getting a weapon too. We have not seen one clean match yet in this <laughs> this event. <laughs> Just not one pure scientific match. It's all been brawls with weapons and cars and 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 beer cans and pipes and pantsing and well, I'm sure there's been a few other things. And Sydney water and Sydney the bear rope shoots. And there's more beer cans, ladies and gentlemen. That's a bike rally. What can we say? <laughs> Oh, somebody's got a chair. I see somebody with a chair there. <laughs> and he's not using it to sit down, ladies and gentlemen. But, no, Wrath says, no, I'm the, I don't care. Wrath doesn't care if he's got a chair. He goes for a punch. And, oh! Chair shot from Cam. That's one way to knock the big man down. And again, Alex is having a very easy, easy night. You know, she doesn't have to do much. It's all legal. I don't, I think, actually, I think Wrath, is Wrath bleeding a little bit? Let me check to see if Wrath is bleeding. He could be bleeding, he could be bleeding beer. At the rate that beer's being flowing today, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Oh, again! Cam with another chair shot right to the... I think he... I think he hit him right in the chest there. Bending that chair, uh, that chair's pretty much useless. But that's okay, they had a couch earlier. Ooh, that would be a shot. Wouldn't that be something? I want to see somebody just do a couch shot. Not a chair shot, but take a couch and use that as a weapon. In fact, I dare these two to do that. I think the, what do you what do your fans think? You use a couch and, make, you, uh, and have that as a weapon? Yay! It would be a first in, in Second Life Wrestling. See, I, 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 the fans agree with me. They agree with? We were talking. We we're just saying that you know. The, uh, well, right now, Wrath uh, is back to his feet. He, yeah, I think he's cut open. Rath got attacked by a chair shot, but I want to see somebody do a couch shot. And the fans are throwing more beer cans than the crowd. <laughs> this is why I love empty. coming to biker rallies. <laughs> oh, huge spear. That's one way that... 
Well, that's, that's one way to, I think they went right through the barricade there, right into the crowd. They are in the crowd. <coughs> they're getting the, in the crowd. They're getting some beer cans throwing them at them. They're <laughs> it's it's outlaw stomps. I'm going to need tetanus shots after this event. <laughs> Thank God I'm Canadian. I have free health care, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> when you need a shower, you smell like stale people. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need that, too. <laughs> this is only the third match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. <laughs> F is split wide open. Well, you know, chair shots will do that. You know. Hit him quite a few times with that chair. No, I, as I said, I do want to see a couch shot. We saw a couch earlier. I want to see somebody do a couch shot. And I think people, I think pe people want to see that, especially that Bryce guy. Looking over there. for beer. I think, is he is he not really looking for beer? You are a fucking piece of shit. I say he's looking for beer, and beer cans get thrown. <laughs> Rath gets a beer out of Nathan's car. I'm looking for a hundred bucks. Five minutes left, gentlemen. Five minutes left for this match. I said a hundred bucks, not beer. <laughs> I was hoping people would throw me a hundred dollar bills. <laughs> no, you're not that good. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrath has a beer bottle. Wait, he got a beer bottle out of Maven's car. He, yep. said, he seriously stole a beer, beer bottle out of Maven's car. Oh look, it's that Mexican beer too, it's that shitty kind. Hey, somebody just sent me a hundred bucks! <laughs> that did work! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to try that more often. <laughs> oh, and we got a beautiful ground and pound happening here. And he's Damn. still holding on to the beer. Now that's a talent. <laughs> and thank you, that's Christian, talented. for that. <laughs> uh, it's going to be one of those days already. Uh, Saying that. It's already been one of those days. I've had a knife embedded in my foot. I cut myself. My MP4 player is basically dead. And the day's just starting for me, too. Well, right now, Jenny wants somebody's pants off again. Whose pants off do you want this time, Jenny? Jenny just wants. <laughs> Who do you want naked for this match? I don't think. I don't think Jenny will do. Cares. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think Jenny cares okay. as long as somebody gets naked, right? <laughs> Three minutes left. Both men. Just right beating now, up each both, other. They're both back to their feet. They're, uh, they're, uh, I don't know, Raph looks like... Beautiful uh, death drop DDT. Right in it. that mud. Man, I must have a nasty rainstorm here the other day. That's not a good mixture, you know, getting mud in those open wounds and stuff like that. That's ne never good. Don't make me slap you. Security's asking the, the police to so think square the wrestlers. And Grim just gets right in the face of the wrestlers. <laughs> Defy authority! I gotta love that, eh? Ticking down quickly, gentlemen. Look at that! An outlaw stomp on an outlaw! How appropriate is that? And leave right over there saying... Or can is not me. here with the leashes. I know. Oh, jeez, I can't even love this. And look at that. Look at that. Uh, Levy's over. Uh, Levi or Levy, she's over there saying, "Don't make me slap you. I will slap you so hard." I know where that's come from. That comes from something. And the tiger bomb. Oh, nicely done by Wrath there. Right in the mud and bedded him. I think he buried him in the mud. Is he going for a pin? 
The referee. I don't oh. think the referee wants. I don't think the referee wants to go down and count that pen. I really don't think she does. <laughs> Put new clothes. She doesn't want to get them dirty. I, Huge outlaw walk, stomps. We're all gonna walk away from this event thirty. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That they're getting a little, they're getting a little close to the, that, uh, those, um, that scaffolding there, aren't, aren't they? Well, I know Kurt was dirty before he got here. I'm always dirty. Fist drop. Kurt's dirty, dirty. I'm a dirty, dirty bird. birdie. I'm a dirty Canadian. He's a dirty my, bird. My, 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 my wife likes it when I'm really dirty. We don't want to know. That's TMI and Canada rocks. Damn right, Canada rocks. Especially Toronto. I'll be driving through there on Monday. Ooh, Windsor. I was there shopping. I love Windsor. This is good. Get the fuck down! Oh! There seems to be a lot of Canadians here. A knockout punch by a uh, rat! And, and, and Cam, he, when he fell, he went face first right in that barric not the barricade, but the scaffolding. Which, hey, I was born in Winnipeg. Winnipeg is great. Winnipeg. Time. Wait, wait, is that the time? That's the time. Time is up. Oh, oh, time limit, no it's a draw. There is no there's winner. No it is declared a draw. Uh-oh. They, they went to a they went to a time limit draw. Oh, wait, the chair now. Oh, oh, thank God. Bikers don't like it when the, when it goes to a draw. There has to be an outcome. I think. Yeah, I I, I think Wrath is just. I don't know. What, are they going to leave? The, I guess they're going to leave them right in the right in. They're going to leave them lying there. Okay, we're going to leave them lying there. We just have to ask the fans. Don't pickpocket the the wrestlers. They, not like they have any much much money to begin with, anyways. Come on, we're wrestlers. We don't get paid to do this. <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing if we're ready for match four. <laughs> they're just gonna leave them lying. Not, not only will they leave them lying, they're gonna throw beer cans at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do things, I guess. <laughs> Here, somebody wants to talk to us before we go into match four, so let's bring them out. Roll that beautiful beam hears. footage. Oh, looks like we have somebody in the ring here. Well, the fans are throwing, uh, are, are throwing cans at. Yeah, that's Sean. Yeah. That's Sean, Sean with no last name.
in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, the car. <laughs> Poor me, even. Translate? It'll translate. Okay. Yeah. Sean says, oh, you want me to translate? I'll translate. Sean says, before I begin, as you people are throwing beer cans at the car as it's leaving. <laughs> Poor Maven's car. <laughs> well, obviously, Sean uh, is making a lot of friends because he's calling everybody idiots. He goes, y'all a bunch, y'all complete idiots. No, that sh he's not the only, he's the only one that's not wearing any, like, Biker gear. Even I'm wearing some of those biking gear. <laughs> he goes, I have watched this man for weeks, and he gets hit by a beer can right in the head. That was actually well pl well done, sir. <laughs> And Sean says, y'all pissing me off. Quit throwing shit at me. <laughs> Sean, welcome to a biker rally. You're not going to... You're only encouraging them to do this more. You know this, right? <laughs> Sean says, I, I will never come here again. And I think they're kind of happy about that right now, Sean. Because <laughs> they're calling you a twat waffle. <laughs> Sean says, you all made it, you all made it with disrespect. This comes from somebody who called everybody a twat waffle. And now they're throwing more beer cans up. Man, the recycling center is going to love this show today. <laughs> They're not going to quit just... it as long as you keep yapping. <laughs> we might not have any more matches. The ring might be completely filled up with beer cans at this rate. <laughs> Man, that recycling place is going to make millions off of this show today, isn't it? <laughs> and Sean's just saying, quit it! <laughs> yeah, I think Sean's trying to ignore the beer cans pelting his head and saying, Broly, come on out, I said this on Facebook and I'm not saying this again. Probably because he's having beer cans thrown at him, he can't say it again. He says, I will destroy you. Well, I think he's being destroyed. I think right now, um, uh, well, Sean's being destroyed by beer cans. <laughs> <laughs> Ring is filling up pretty quick with beer cans, ladies and gentlemen. This is getting bad. How are they going to wrestle in a match full of uh, a recycled box? Our ring's becoming a recycled... Did I just hear it with some glass break? Uh-huh. I guess well, we're into match four, so this is following as Extreme Rules match. Falls count anywhere. Match is scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Who's in the ring right now, which everybody is throwing beer cans at? He is from Miami, Florida. He stands at 6'3", weighs 212 pounds. He is Sean. And coming to the ring, his opponent from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. He stands at 6'1", weighs 220 pounds. He is Broly Blackheart. And he's saying that Arcana finally let, let him out on his own. We might as well call oh this gosh. a recycle. We might as well call this a, re, a recycle box match because everybody's throwing beer cans into the into the ring, and the and the ring is blue, and recycle boxes are blue. So you might as well just call it a recycle box match. <laughs> Arcana letting Broly off his leash. This match. I don't know what she's thinking. Well, 
Well, the, these two have a little bit of history. Of, of, of earlier in the week, uh, these two had a confrontation uh, at a uh, what was it? Uh, TWC event or something like that. So yeah, they, they they're settling at an APW event and in the middle of a whole bunch of beer cans. <laughs> I don't think they were playing on the beer cans actually. <laughs> This match brought to you by Molson Triple X, apparently. Oh, I can't say we have. Yeah, this, this has got to be a first for me too. I got to, you know, I've been through a lot of firsts, but this is this is an unusual one. Well, Broly's letting the fill, well, letting the ring fill with uh, cans, and Sean's just kicking the cans out of the ring. Well, Broly finally got in there. Surprised no. Alex is doing a pretty good job to ducking all those cans. Actually, gotta give her credit. Sean, you have no idea what you're about to. See. Not only will I embarrass you in front of this crowd, but I will make a out of you all and all. Because you know we love, we hate, and we die all in this fate. Now, prepare to believe. Well, if Broly was planning uh, to bury Sean, I think he's a little too late because Sean's already getting buried in beer cans. <laughs> uh, why is he quoting Arcana stuff? I. I, I, I Arcane's getting to his head. He's crazy. He thinks he's Willow. I don't know. <laughs> his mom, his mommy didn't love him enough. And oh, Broly hit him with some a bat strike or something. That Arcane hit him. The... Hit him with a beer can. Well, yeah. Well, there's plenty in the ring to choose from, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, no. Actually, you know what's even worse? You know what's even worse? Sean went down to a soda can. Well, Broly goes for a stop, but I think he missed Sean and he crushed a beer can in Sean's chest. <laughs> Going for a pickup, but Sean got, uh, Sean gets trapped in the wrist lock and man. As I said, that ring is becoming our, our new recycle box. <laughs> and then Broly's got John trapped in a wrist lock, and I think he's holding him, he's holding him still so everybody can throw beer cans at him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Broly's just working on the arm, but he's holding, he's holding him for the fans to throw beer beer cans and beer bottles, and yeah, just throw stuff at Sean at this rate. <laughs> Sean's whining, but some... that hurts. Well, I would imagine it would hurt, yes. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's throwing this wrong cabbage at him. Ending Broly down on the, to the ground. You hear all those beer, beer, beer cans crush when Broly went flying on, on his back? Oh, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Slapping Sean. Oh, and a huge tackle. And you know what's great about this match? You want to know what's great about this match, Gata? Mm. Not one beer can has hit our referee. <laughs> That's awesome. That is completely awesome. Play <laughs> sliding out of the ring. Ugh. He's going down, looks like he's looking under the ring for something. Well, why does he need anything? There's a whole bunch of beer cans in the ring. He doesn't need to look for anything. <laughs> Killing the ref. Prez is saying that there's a chain down there. There's so many beer cans being... Broly yeah, with a chain, chain around, around his, his wrist. Yeah, there's so many beer... <laughs> oh! 
And Sean tried to do some move, but no, Broly turned around and just clocked him right in the <laughs> kisser. Normally that would be an amazing move, even more special that he had to fly through through all those beer cans, but uh, Broly hit him with that chain. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is gonna be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> this is a serious match, and, then, and they're fighting through a, a sh they're fighting through a rainstorm of beer cans. <laughs> oh god! Getting KO'd by Broly with Broly still having the chain wrapped around his fist. And beer, and it's it's not raining men, it's raining beer. <laughs> cans that is. <laughs> motioning Sean to get up. He's got some more de damage to deal to poor uh. Sean. Oh, I thought I think I, I think one beer can just land. Are they throwing bread at Sean now? <laughs> They're throwing bread at him. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh, maybe he can give him a sandwich. I don't yeah, know. This right, he can get it. Yeah, beer sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> or, or maybe, hey, you know, Broly puts a, a loaf of bread on his fist. He can make a knuckle sandwich. Sean getting hit by a can gets knocked out yet again. Is Broly standing there patiently waiting? He doesn't need to do anything. The beer cans are knocking Sean out for him. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets knocked out by a loaf of bread, I'm gonna laugh my ass off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Saying, hey, tell the fans at the to coach. go for it and knock it. Yeah. Have at him. <laughs> Have at him. Oh yeah, now they stop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, here oh, we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. All we need Get now is hit. some lettuce, some um, some mayo, and a little bit of cheese. <laughs> Huge drop kick. Sending Broly over. <laughs> we got the beverage. We got the we got the bread. We need a little bit of meat. <laughs> well, if Jenny was concerned, we should, there'd be a whole bunch of naked meat going on right about now. Oh well, yeah, Jenny, yeah, Jenny no was concerned. At this rate, I don't have to do my grocery shopping for the next couple of days. <laughs> Taking Broly down. Ah, uh, boy. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Did I just see somebody throw a baby? I'm what, getting what, hit with babies. Now, exploding babies. That's a first for me. <laughs> it was exploding babies. I'm not quite sure why. Is Ari Lane in this match? Look at that. There's a bread loaf stuck on the side of the barricade. It's sticking there. <laughs> They're throwing moldy bread at Sean! Well, right, I think there's some wrestling going on. Oh, suplex by Broly! By Broly, they're on the... Yeah. No, they're, that's right, they're on the outside. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... Broly with a snap suplex. What can I say? These fans are awesome. They have just made a first for Second Life Wrestling because they're throwing exploding babies, beer, uh, bread, and all, and beer cans. This is great. <laughs> Though the exploding babies do kind of leg us out a little bit, but this, it was still funny. I'm expecting them to throw cats and dogs now. Oh, we got a penis shooter. Somebody's going to be shooting penis. Seriously? Getting up not looking too good. So everybody's been throwing beer cans at him, so yeah, I wouldn't look too good either. Someone get up oh already. They're drinking beer, they're throwing beer, they're throwing babies, they're getting ready to throw penises. Vendetta's wearing a uh, oh, 
The, the, the wearing a, a Sid hat. Ven's got a, a penis gun. Really? And we got the penis shooter. Yeah, exactly! This is like a good friggin' bar fight! That's what this is! <laughs> Kurt with the penis. Wow, thank you. I, I, I feel very special about that. This is a beer fest. Everybody's having yeah, a good and, time. And, and Jason is at ring Jason, one of our fans, Jason, is at ringside, and he he's actually the road captain, and he's telling he's calling somebody a piece of shit. <laughs> and Broly's now Please. telling the uh, uh, telling the be the beer batted and beer breaded uh, Sean to get the hell off. <laughs> is really he helping him out. I know what he is. He's beer breaded babied. That's what he is. Stop being such a twat waffle. He's a triple B. And now Broly's saying he's gonna go for a walk. Where's he going? Where, 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 where's Broly going? I don't like it when Broly's behind me. He's not behind me. Thank God. There's a trash can here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He's going to our trash. Wait, wait, he's going to our trash can. There's a trash. There's been a trash can here, and they've been they've been just using a ring as a recycle bin. Huh. Apparently somebody's right in the recycling man. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. But the main thing is that the fans are having fun. Are you having fun, fans? Are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah, they're enjoying themselves. That's the main thing. I. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the recycle bin just ran over, just ran over, uh, Sean and Broly! I don't think you'll get much money back for, uh, Sean. He's, you know, he's not very Oh, recycled. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Fuck! Is this one of those, uh, such a great one where we go, Sean down, Sean down! <laughs> hey, you're finished. What the hell just rolled out of that fucking, uh, big, the recycle bin? Trash, trash, trash bag, a bag of trash. I think Grim is throwing bags of trash at. I thought Broly, I thought Broly was actually uh, uh, digging in the trash can, looking for something to use. Well, I bet you Camera Kitty's never uh, slapping uh, Sean with something. I, I saw Grim a trash bag being thrown at him. Is running over Sean with the trash can. Is, does this count for interference? Uh, there's no DQ, no interference. Oh wow! Surprise, surprise, and surprise, surprise, no DQ. And and Sean's just being—he's being ran over. Sean's going home, literally. Sean's are taking Sean away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're probably going to win this match because Sean's been taken away. <laughs> that away, Jason. Camera Kitty, this has got to be a first stream for you, you got to admit. I'm, I'm, man, I'm looking forward to watching this event <laughs> on, on YouTube when it gets posted. <laughs> with the Dutch hangover and it connects and he covers well I'm sure he's going to have a hangover after this match <laughs> yep and he, will Sean tap will Sean tap well it all depends is Sean I think Sean oh no he's, he's trapped I think it, Sean but, uh... should tap what do you guys think you guys think Sean should tap I think Sean should tap I surprised yeah. uh... see But he thinks well, right now, Broly's, Sean should tap. Broly's got his head deep in that mud. He's almost sinking in that mud, in fact. <laughs> There's the break. Did he tap? A 
Send in the cans, he says. Seriously? Like there hasn't Seriously. been enough cans thrown at this guy? <laughs> hey. They, they want cans. Oh. We got cans and we got a we laser. Got laser beams. And. And yeah, he's being pelted by cans. <laughs> Was that what did, did he tap? Did it was that the end of the match? Did he tap? I don't know. That's what I was asking. Did he you. tap? I don't know. No, I don't know that he's being he's literally being canned and not in a good way. And a super kick. For all those you're wondering, and I don't we think we have a cover. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. two, and three. For all those wondering, I don't think the, I don't think the super kick knocked him out. I think he took a can on the chin. Your winner by pinfall, Broly Blackheart. Well, Grim's just cheating. He's protected by a giant condom now. At least he's got protection. Well, at least he's got protection now. So that's, that is true. Still getting canned. You know, it kind of serves you right for insulting people. Don't feel sorry for you. And they're saying that you got canned, dude. <laughs> Literally. Sean has had no luck lately, has he? He lost his last name, lost the all-terrain title twice, got in a fight with uh, with Broly. What else can happen? He's got canned. <laughs> that was, um, I've got no words for that, actually. <laughs> oh. Jay, that was a very interesting match. John got canned. So, there you go. Alright, we are going straight into match five. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a No Limits Intercrown Championship, and it's our main event of the evening, scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Now, just to, just to let the fans know for, who are actually re wrestling fans, a triple threat match is a very dangerous match. The champion actually is at a disadvantage. He he cannot even uh, he cannot even be involved in the match, and one of the other two guys can p pin each other and win the championship. That's why it's the triple threat match is a dangerous match. But yeah, let's get it. Let's get on with this match, shall we? to the ring he stands six foot he's from Wyoming Illinois he stands six foot two he weighs 245 pounds he is the Python Robin Kristoff or black rock shooter well right now he's just wandering around I think he's I think he's collecting clean cans I've never seen this guy wrestle before you know that and I'm the champion around here <laughs> Black Rock Shooter. The ring. He's from Parts Unknown. He stands six foot three, weighs two hundred eighty pounds. He is Zach Mayhem. Yay! So confused right now. You know what? I know where Parts Unknown is. It's the same place that where that J. Alexander Frost guy uh, lives. It's also, uh, it's also in, in near. It's, it's also I near heard he got Mexico. shot. He got he shot. He might have got shot. We don't even. We don't hope he got shot. Well. Wow. Well, either way, here comes Zach. Playing his fight music. Considering how this card has gone today, what else can we expect to see?
We're not on a boat this time for Damien to, so he can't throw, he can't throw people in the water and throw them in the bars and, well, actually, he probably can, actually. Zach is starting to lip off people. And apparently Zach wants to get canned, too, because he's telling saying this place stinks. Right, and let's bring out the champ. He's from Boston, Massachusetts. He weigh he stands at six foot four, weighs 183 pounds. He is the No Limits Intercrown Champion, Damian Hex. Oh joy, another Hex. Okay, fans, when you see Scott Hex pluck out, pelt him with cans. They just pelt you with cans. I can move. Yeah, but it's funny to hit, to, to hit Damien and Scott. Ah, uh, no surprise. Hey, How comes the entourage? Uh, Have they ever, ever once defended those tag titles? Uh, no. That I've seen. They've been tag team champions for what? Uh, Three or four months now, and I think I've not once seen them defend those belts. Uh... At least Damien's defending the Intercrown Championship. I'll give him that. But the tag titles, I've never seen him defend it. And there goes the fans pelting Sean, uh, not Sean, but uh, Scott Hex with uh, cans. <laughs> I love these, this crowd. <laughs> and Alex says, get on with it. Alex is also hitting on uh, Brooke over there. Alex, I didn't know. Yeah. And yep, then here comes the cans again. <laughs> oh gee, I've been flipped off. I know I'm number one. Thanks for telling me. Oh wait, I am number one because oh. I'm the heavyweight champion. Oh god. <laughs> Feeding the monkeys. Let's get to this match. This is the main event. Does Zach realize that he's just he's just encouraging them by the by uh by that? Ah, uh, wait till meet and well, greet, Sean. <laughs> well, right now this uh, uh Python. Oh, Py uh, Python and Zach are going face. Uh, face to face starting this off they don't even care about Damien and Damien's going to go for a walk what's Damien doing? and the wrist lock in the ring and Damien's going to looks like Damien what is he what is he doing Damien's coming up with one of the biker girls I don't know Emilio I think her name is I'm very bad at pronouncing names I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he's, he's, he's glaring at her tits Those are called boobs, Damien. Something you'll never touch. Fuck off. Oh, isn't that sweet? Well, Damien just showing the class, and now he's getting pelted by cans. <laughs> uh, this way, the fans don't care. If it's a hex, we're going to pelt them with cans. <laughs> And right, and right now, the, the, the action is still going on in the ring. These two are, are still going at it. Don't tell me about your, your fantasies there, uh, Scott. Scott's that trying to tell me that. And a lockup. Scott, tell, I'll call Scott what, tell me I'll, his sexual fantasies that he wants to, he wants to I'll, dream I'll about. I'll call uh, what's going on in the room. Yeah, we, we, that's, I'll, that's I'll call disgusting. what's going on in the ring. As Thank Damien you. flips off everybody and is being mean. And... Yes, they are meaning pooty heads, and just because I work here doesn't mean that I'm friends with any of them. Well, right now they're struggling in the ring. They're in a lockup, and in a, actually, actually, this is a good basic match so far. They're it's, they're keeping it clean. They're wrestling through a shower of cans, going for wrist locks. Somebody's belching. Good belch. <laughs> A shoulder maggot is, is, is saying that is saying that it's got a case of bad maggot breath. 
A beautiful snapmare sending Zach down as That's Black really... Rob Shooter, the Python, whatever his name whatever is. Whatever his way, name he, is. He's not bad. He's got a, he's got a good basic move set. I got, I'll, I'll give him credit. Yeah, he's, you know. he's doing pretty good. This and now he's going I'm after Damien. Well, Damien decided to get in the ring, and I think he got, I think he slipped on a can. And yet, not one beer can has hit our our lovely referee. Now that's talent. That's talent. That, that, that shows that the fans just love our referee. And who and who won it? That get See? that. Not looking too good for wear there. Damon's yelling at the crowd, and they're throwing beer cans at him. Oh, that one hit right between the that's eyes. Flipping <laughs> off everybody. <laughs> Damon's flipping off everybody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you do, if you if you try to get headshots in on Damien, it's not gonna work because he has no brains. It's gonna sit here and yeah. try to call something or other. Uh, something's gonna happen, yeah. Zach, Zach and uh, and Python are now looking are now looking at Damien. They're they're like, what what the hell's going on? Scott's trying to trying to distract uh, Zach. Python says, "I want, an, I want a piece of this action." And goes for, oh, a nice drop kick sends Damien off the apron right into those into that bread. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I just said Damien went flying into bread. <laughs> so that would oh, be a Damien sandwich. That would be a Damien sandwich. Yes, all he needs is to get buttered up and mailed. Zack with a huge clothesline. Traps the uh, Python in that corner. Python took his eyes off the prize for a minute and oh sends and sends Python into the Hey look at that now it's a Python sandwich. It's a it's a Python hex sandwich. Yeah, I see what I did there. <laughs> and Zack is the only one in the ring other than our lovely ref. And, the, and all the cans and the bread. I I can't believe they're throwing bread. I, I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, somebody's got to do it. Oh. And, and what's even worse, it's moldy bread, too. Well, oh. now they're both getting back to their feet. Kind of trying. Here comes Zach on the top rope. Oh, nails Python with that. With that uh, vaulting press, I think he went right over Damien, but Damien decided to go down anyways. Because Damien's a nice guy like that. He likes, to, he likes to feel like he takes part. In truth, I think Damien got hit by got hit by a can. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Anyway, um. What what? And now Zach is just endearing himself to the crowd by spitting on Nevin. Classy. And there goes the fans. <laughs> hey, these bikers look after their own. They like they, nobody likes getting spit on. That's true. God, everybody's feeding. You would think at this rate that the wrestlers in the back would learn would learn not to flip off the fans because they're just going to get pelted by cans. No! <laughs> well, right now, what, what is Zach doing? He's dragging the python over here. Zach is dragging python. Oh, I'm in Zach? Zach? Don't make me get up. I'm the champion. Turnbuckle thrust. Well, you and just, Zach. You know, he, he thrust that, that shoulder right into Zach's gut as uh, Zach's leaning against the table. And now, he, and now uh, Python's just beating the crap out of Zach. <laughs> Why, I'm not scared of these guys. They break the table. We 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 just charge it to uh, Tyler. It's a win-win. Uh. 
let me put it this way. They hurt me, I've got the belt, I'll hurt them all. All right now, Zach's up against the table here. Damien's trying to stand up, but he's getting pelted by beer cans. Beautiful corner splash. Well, well yeah, it looked like... It looked like Get out uh, of my chair. Missed as Zach gets out of the way. It looked, it looked like, yeah, it looked like, uh, it looked like a python went for some splash, some kind of splash on Zach. And Zach went out of the way. And I think Damien's bleeding. I think I can nail him in the head and cut him open. So, yeah, keep at it. We like to see him when Damien bleeds. <laughs> DDT <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> really? You got cut open because of, because of a beer can, Damien? That's not being hardcore. That's being... That's just being sad. <laughs> oh boy. This is quite the clusterfuck. Really? What was your first clue? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Getting hit with more cans and bread. Bread. And you know, it's not just any bread, it's moldy bread, might we add. <laughs> well, hey, you uh, can call it moldy bread, I'm just going to call it bread. It's Scott green, come on! <laughs> pacing around, Scott pacing around the ring, uh, and that looked like a teacup. Tea time already? Seriously? A teacup? Corner foot choke. Tea time. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I, I guess it's tea time. Damien lets these two beat each other up, which is actually quite smart, but he's bleeding. So, obviously, his mouth and all that didn't really do much good for him as he's getting pelted by cans. Yeah, there is a teacup. Actually, that's a pretty large teacup on the ground. Well, I'd like to have a tea, but I have to wait. Oh, and Zach knocking Python, Black Rack Shooter. Oh, no, I'm just calling him Python because that's the name that's that's on the that's on the sheet. And you know, so far the Damian has not been a factor in this match at all, and he's the defending champion. Don't look at me, Zach. What, what do you want? <laughs> a huge drop you know kick happens? on Zach. When you look Turn at the this back on Damien. <laughs> Zach took his eyes off the prize and thought he could pretend to threaten me. And, well, he suffered for it. taking control of Zack and whipping him into the steps, knocking him the fuck out. Well, those are pretty solid steps. You know, usually they're just metal steps, but I think for some reason um, the people who helped us create this event made them into concrete. I don't know why. <laughs> Only eight minutes left, gentlemen. It's a 20-minute time limit. They can pull out of their hats. We've had bread, we've had tea, we've had moldy bread, we've had beer cans. We had a bloody Damien. <laughs> Damien got cut open because of a beer can. There goes the, there goes the teacup. I, I think I just got pelted off the teacup. Yeah, there's like, there's like, three, there's like a couple to teacups in front of me. Yeah. Oh, move on. Spoon to stir, so there you go. And a huge fist drop. Is it Earl Grey? You know, that would be nice right about now with my That cold. would be nice. <laughs> right now, Python's getting back in the ring. He's, he's, he's looking pretty hurt as well. And then, oh, oh damn, he just got pelted by a teacup. Nice shot. <laughs> Damien. 
So now they're throwing silverware, ladies and gentlemen. They're throwing silverware. <laughs> Python looking around. He looks a little bit dazed and confused. I'm not sure what he's doing. Well, uh, you get, you get a. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised Damien's not dazed and confused. You know, he got hit by silverware. I, I, wow. It's safe to sit here now. I don't know if it's really safe to sit there, but uh. <laughs> and, oh, looks like uh, Damon nailed the uh, nailed the uh, Python with a stunner on the ropes, using the ropes for his advantage. Pretty smart. Of uh, Zach is still out of it. He's been uh, silverware to death. I think those uh, the, uh, I, th I think those concrete stairs that had something to do with it too. Damon is now slowly taking it. Oh, Zach's getting back to his feet. The referee's getting. The referee thinks it's safe to get back in the ring. Well, this is good. Zach's back to his feet, and he, but he's out of it. He's looking cross-eyed, so he's looking pretty normal. Now Damien's hooking him up. What's this? He go. Oh, it looks like he's going for the, the hex drop. Just the as hex what the hell got thrown in the ring? <laughs> what I the have hell was no that? Idea. <laughs> Like I think clock. that was the kitchen sink, ladies and gentlemen. No, I think that was the cuckoo clock. I think I know uh, where that came okay. from. Okay. <laughs> and a pin for a one, a two, and a three. Well, 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 Python did get his clock clean out of that one, so. And your winner okay. and still champion by pinfall, Damien Hex. You, hey, hey, d hey, Zach, you didn't run in, you didn't slide in the ring in time. There's, and you see what I did there? Yeah. Cuckoo clock time? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Cuckoo clock being thrown in the ring. I don't know where that came from. It wasn't for me. Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's. Uh, 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 Damon retained the championship! It. Out of, uh, that's it one of the for weirdest show. matches I think. Of, yeah, that's gonna be the weirdest triple threat match I think I've ever seen. We and had that's it for our show. We had yeah. a great time here. Thanks for coming out to APW. Thank you guys for having us here. Beer cans, exploding babies, and penises, and the whole shot. Silverware, cuckoo clocks. And a bomb! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that has been our show for tonight. Oh, I think we just buried it. Wow, we just, we just, yeah. Oh, God, I just want. Thanks for having us, everybody. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm gonna get out of here. They're torturing the ring, man. <laughs> This video was filmed on location by Zarakin Productions. Zarakin Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakin.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakin Productions and their own media links. Zarakin Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, Day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakin Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.